Good morning, Penny Pickle. Good morning, girls. Oh, shoot, I forgot Penny's medicine. Just joking, just joking. I thought you guys would get a kick of that because I do it every day, but not today. Today is the day that I did not forget it. <laughs> anyway, good morning, welcome to today. Today I am patient, loving, and kind. And the reason I'm telling you guys to write down what you are is so that we focus on what we are and not what we are not. And also, you retain it more. A person on you YouTube. believe it more when you write it. A person on YouTube, who, um, his dad um, fell and broke his and broke his leg, and I I could have broken my leg. Sophie just fell. She fell, you guys. I look and back. I tried to slide down the hill because it was slippery. <laughs> I look back and she's sitting on the ground. I'm sitting on the ground. I think she had me in the wrong way. Are you all right? Think you'll be okay? Think you'll be able to make it, Sophie? No. Penny Pickle, you did not eat all your hay, which is unusual, but I did notice that your dad gave you a lot of hay last night. She's like, just give me the medicine. Just Mommy, give it to me. Look at how patient my horse is. Look at how patient my horse is. Although she kind of does have me backed into a corner here. She waits. She's kind. She's gentle. She's patient. Yes, you are. She likes this stuff. This is like a drug, man. <laughs> this stuff. She loves her medicine. Yes, she does. You're all done there, Missy. Uh, if you're wondering where the princess is, the queen, the ruler of it all, the 14-year-old, almost 14-year-old girl, she is still getting ready for the day. She's still getting ready. Sophie and I just plop into our stuff and we're ready. We just wake up and we get ready. So uh, the reason I'm writing I am patient so many times in a row is because you have to believe it. And I haven't believed it <laughs> till today. Today when I wrote it, I actually believed it. And I noticed that when I write what I am in the morning that I really feel it. Like I've been really feeling it. I do feel more patient. I do feel more kind. I have a story for you guys. So long ago when my oldest son, he's 32 now, when he was in college, he was in college and one day he messaged me in the morning and it was like a Saturday morning and I'm like, hey, what's up? And he's like, nothing, I'm bored, everybody else is sleeping. And I'm like, well, why aren't you sleeping? You're in college, like, you could sleep all day, it's Saturday morning. And he said, yeah, well, I have this thing inside me that like starts to get panicky if I'm not up doing stuff. Like, I gotta pick up that poo. So yeah, he said that like he starts to get panicky. It's been he just feels like he needs to get up and get moving and accomplish things and get things done. And I'm the same way and I've probably taught it to him. And then I felt bad that I taught him to not be patient and not rest and not relax and I see myself doing the same thing with my girls and I see Gabby resisting. <laughs> She's like, get out of bed. What do you mean get out of bed? So uh, I know that I've struggled with patience my whole entire life and I feel like it's time that I don't struggle with patience, patience anymore and I feel it. I feel the change. I feel it happening. I am patient now. It's only been three days. So I wanna remind myself every single day for a long time to be patient and that I have all the time that I need. And that's the big thing. I do have all the time I need. What I don't get done today can wait for tomorrow. You guys are sending me all your journal entries and I've been loving them, loving watching them, seeing them. Oh gosh, that poop is frozen. So if he's like, don't forget all the poop. But the problem is, oh, it's thawing a little. Can I show you how to do it? Yeah, show me how to do it, Sophie. I was aiming to, <laughs> did you get it? No. Well, go ahead, you show me. Go ahead, come on, you got it. You got this, Sophie, you can do it. I'll cheer you on. You know, you know what I do got? <laughs> to throw poop at you. Good morning. Good morning. Good up morning. Uh, Gabby needs some coffee. She needs some time to wake up. But you'll be looking gorgeous in the morning. She was really talkative yesterday. We'll let her have some coffee. Let her have some time to wake up. Before All right. she had coffee. 
Wow, maybe it will happen again. All right, let's go. Let's okay. release the beasts. Is my beast still eating? I'm gonna ride my beast today. No matter how many times I film this, it never gets old. Seeing our girls leave the barn. You gotta go uh, get my penny girl. Slow, slow, slow. That's a girl. I have a treat for you if you want it. You want a treat? No. All right, it's true. So the, the problem is this. Good job. This dog is perfect for Gabby. Anyway, we're gonna do chores now, but I just wanted to say welcome to today. I'm patient, I'm kind, I'm loving, and so are you. I wanna see in the comments below what you are today. <coughs> not what you're not, but what you are. We just finished our read together, and this is what school looks like. This is what happens. This is what happens when I'm reading to the girls, this dog comes and climbs on top of me. We got Sophie here. She has to be rubbed and kissed and cuddled. And then, oh, you've stopped. And then over there, Miss Molly the Border Collie needs to be hugged and loved too. But it's just. But Daisy comes and sits inside your arms. Yeah, Daisy comes and conforms to your body. And Molly is more awkward. Like, Molly does not love to be cuddled, does she? Yeah, she stays because she knows she has to, baby. but she doesn't love cuddling. For this dog, if you stop touching her, she's like, do it more! Oh, do you hear that? She heard me. She heard something. Is there a cricket in your room? I hear it. So that's another thing that's been happening lately. Daisy has been hearing. She's been hearing probably vibrations. Like the other day, Gabby was in the shower and you know how sometimes like when you turn off the shower the pipes will make a banging sound do you know what i mean like they well it happens you get so used to it you don't even know what's happening but the, the pipes bang together sometimes when you turn off the water you turn off the water and there's a bang bang sound mm -hmm. anyway she was on the, the kitchen bang, bang is the turning off yeah, no, there's another sound. Anyways, she felt some kind of vibration, and she was on the couch with me, and because she feels it, she can never tell. She's like, stop rubbing Wait, me. Wait, don't she toots on you? Don't toot. There will be... <laughs> She's like, I will but do whatever. I think I think she already did. Yeah, that was probably... Okay, so anyways, she heard this sound. I don't know what it was. She was sitting beside me, and she jumped so high, and then she just started barking. But it's funny when she hears something, because... All of a sudden, she's flinging her head all over the place trying to figure out where it came from. Like, she has no idea. So she definitely has been hearing vibrations more lately than ever before. She does, she'll, she'll feel it, and then it'll shock her. <laughs> it will shock her, and then she'll wake up, like she'll jump awake, and she'll be like, where did that come from? And so she is going through a totally different stage of being deaf. We've been working on a lot of things with her. We've been working on when, well, we'll show you guys later. We have been working on a lot of things. She's doing really well. She's, she's, um, she's also been working on, um, she's been like at that stage where she chews everything. Oh yeah. And she also, this is just a little Daisy update. Um, also she is at the stage that that Molly went through. Molly went through it and she's already done it where she chews everything. It is the worst stage. Every morning I come downstairs. She gets things off the table. She takes things off the table. She takes whatever she wants. And I'm always upstairs. I don't know why nobody pays attention, but she chews a paper. It's Sophia's dog, Sophia, she pay attention. Yeah. Molly chewed, Molly chewed so many pens and got ink all over their bed so many times when she went through the stage and now she chews pens and she chews whatever she can find. Yeah. She's a sneaky dog. She'll just jump up on the coffee table just to get something. We are always chasing her down. We are always dragging things out of her mouth, aren't we? She has to cuddle every single yeah. morning. Yeah, every day she has to cuddle. She's about to fall. Yeah, because she makes you hold her up. I know. We are headed out. Wait, why are you headed out, Laura? We're headed out because I can't take it anymore, you guys. I cannot stand being locked in. Ruby, get over here. Ruby, come on. The weather is awful. Like, being locked in because it's winter is bad. Being locked in because our government 
wants us to be is even worse for me. And I know not everybody will agree, but I feel like things are just getting crazy. Like, it is February. We have zero cases of COVID in our area. Like, under five cases, you guys. Under five cases of COVID in our area. And we are completely locked down. Our government is vaccinating. Most of the nursing homes in our area are already all vaccinated. So the high risk people, all of our frontline workers, all getting vaccinated. We are still locked down. Like we are locked down. All of our schools, all of our kids. No, the schools are open. Yeah, our yeah, schools I, are open. School the schools book. are open. The, the schools stores. are open. No stores. But the, the schools are open. But the schools are open. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I can't take it anymore. Like, I am beyond. So, on Monday, in our really high-risk areas, two hours from our house is a high-risk area. Nothing closer than two hours is high-risk. And there's a few places in Toronto area that the schools are not going to open on Monday. But even in our high-risk areas, the schools are opening the starting Monday. And yet, our economy is just dying. I'm just tired of it. I'm just, just so tired of it. Trudeau. I am. I'm dissing them all. Okay, so the, what got me on this rant is that Trudeau. today, today I see that our premier, which is like your, which is like your vice president, I guess. Today I saw that our premier is considering putting check spots all along the highway going to certain places so that essentially if that happened you would be locked in your area. You would be physically locked in your area. There would be police and guards at checkpoints and you would not be allowed to go anywhere but in your area and I just think that is just going way way too far like we're leaving our house right now because we need to get out like we need to get out like all right anyway so where we're going is we're taking the saddles back we're taking the saddles back so we're gonna go for a walk we're gonna take our horses for a walk <laughs> <Wait. laughs> so we're gonna take our horses for a walk but before we go I'm gonna put makeup on like Sometimes when I get depressed and I feel bad, I feel like I go through this big huge thing of things that make me feel good, like buying stuff online or going to a store, like we only have one that's open, it's Walmart, or going for a walk or putting makeup on. Which I don't believe that you have to wear makeup to be beautiful. I honestly don't believe that. I don't, I actually don't even really like makeup, but sometimes I feel like it can brighten the mood. I'm actually waiting for Sophie to get out of the bathroom. Oddly, the crickets are making noise and they don't normally make noise. Makes me wonder if one got free. Sometimes that happens, I think, if one gets free. There's Sophie's baby for the day. No fat on her. Like, she's not a super, I mean, she's young still. She doesn't have a lot of fat on her. She's still not eating awesome. Sophie ended up putting her salad on the ground today in hopes that she will eat it. Let's see how hot our girl is. Not hot enough. Ninety degrees. She needs to be about a hundred. We're not taking the horses for a walk. No. And you said horses in the walk. Did you spray her salad and put um Oh look at her. She's so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna try and prank the girls. I'm gonna try and prank them. I'm gonna do my makeup terrible and they're gonna believe it because I don't ever do makeup. So I'm gonna try and prank at them and see what they say. So I tried to line my lips extra big so that I'd have like bigger lips. I used a little bit of blush and then I did some fancy stuff with my eyes. Essentially, I'm not used to putting on makeup, so I'm not uh, awesome at it, but I already think I look so much better. What do you guys think? All right, let's go for our walk. I already feel better. Like, I just feel more beautiful. I did a really good thing. I did a really, I did the thing with your lips where you. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. Like, I love it. I did the thing with your. You're filming the video where it's, I do my makeup bad to see how they react. No. Yeah, so, you are. But whose lipstick is that? That's my lipstick, and I like it. Like, just because you guys what don't like it. Brand is it. Just my, it's my own lipstick brand. But look at, no, no, look at, see. Brand is it? 
I don't know. I just got it. So see how I well a couple spots are not that good. But, it's because, mine. but you, if it's mine, I have lipstick that stains. And I hope it doesn't stain. I have lipstick that but stains too. Do you guys see how I overline my lips to make them look bigger? I think the pink is already staining you. You think it's staining me? Yeah. Gibby, don't show that. Do you like it though? Like, do you think I look better with my lips? I mean, with my lips. It's a trail. And it's close by us, but it's an ATV and snowmobile. Yeah, that's okay. But, yeah. We could go there. So, is it a yay or a nay? Nay. Why? Do you actually not like it? I hate it. Why? There's no parking spot. Well, honestly, you hate my makeup? It's all over your face. It's eyeshadow, lipstick, and blush, Sophia. But not blush. <laughs> what? And you have lipstick on your teeth. Oh, shoot. I think it's gonna stain. I think it's gonna stain too. Did you at least wear foundation? No. I hate foundation. So it's gonna stain big time. You think I should wash it off? Look at your fingers. They're already stained. I think you should wash it. I think you should wash it off. Alright, but you say you don't like it? I hate it. That's not very nice. I hate it. I feel sad. I never say things like I hate it to you. I don't dress up in makeup like that. What? I, I don't dress up in makeup like that. Yeah, but this is how you used to do makeup in the 80s when I learned to do makeup. No, that's not how. Yeah, I'll show you a picture. Here's a picture of somebody, an old a singer in the 80s. See the makeup? See the eyeshadow? I didn't even hurt you. Oh, that looks a lot better than that. You think she it looks... She doesn't even have, like, freaking pink black. Can I see? That looks exactly like mine. But my question is, Her why is your face better? white? Because it's winter. No, like, what did you put on your whole face to make it white? Nothing, it's my Let skin. Let me guess, that's my old foundation color. No. That's oh, actually, it does kind of look not that good, does it? Do you actually wait, think wait, it doesn't wait. look good? Oh no. Kind of makes me look older. Does it make me look older? But well, why is there pink in your nostril? There? Oh my, because I just scratched my nose. It looks like your child you tried to do makeup. What do I got to do to my brows? You got to make them look better than that if you do makeup. All right. So you guys don't like it? You hate it. Go change. I'm, bra I'm heartbroken. You actually think we're going to find boys and they won't like me because of my makeup? <laughs> No, that's sad. I try to make myself look nice. Try to make myself look nice for once and nobody appreciates me. Alright, so I washed it off. They didn't like my makeup, you guys. Oddly enough, the minute I put that stuff on my face, I got a headache. It's amazing how, like, when you're not, you, your skin is not used to stuff, how it responds. But yeah, I got, totally got a headache. Um, that is not cool, Missy. They all ran out the door when I opened it. This girl's gonna kill herself. Hey, stay. Oh, look at that. That's dangerous as heck. Oh my goodness, stand still. Oh. Daisy! Oh gosh, I lost the other one. There she is. Come on, little puppy. Come on. It's such a mess out here. The horses, oh, there's hay over there. The horses like to stand in the shade when it's sunny. They like to stand in the sun when it's cold. Here's some hay for you. I feel like Penny is really, uh, whoops. I feel like Penny's really like not trusting me as much right now. Remember all the work I did to build her bond, build a bond with her. Then the cheek hold thing set her back a little. Let's just let me do this here. Yeah, yeah, such a pretty girl. So I'm gonna give her like a couple days off before we do it again. I might not do it again till like the weekend because I think it I think it's bothering her. Like she's she's worried about it and I don't want her to be worried about it. And I want our next session to be like super productive. So we leave on a good note. I feel like sometimes with all animals, it's one step forward, two steps back. I also feel like I could probably come out here today and scoop some poop out of this little arena. Hello, Gracie girl. Yeah, good girl. Yeah. I feel like this winter's been really productive for our girls. And I feel like, honestly, I'm going to take a course every winter. Got you. Oh. Got you. Got you. 
Come on. Follow the puppy. Follow the other puppy. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't you know that you're beautiful?